Less than one week after two people were shot and killed in Fall River, including a 14-year-old boy, community members and city leaders come face to face. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. They're looking for immediate solutions to prevent more gun violence. 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt joins us from Fall River with the latest on their plans. Rob? Several department heads attended Monday night's meeting with residents of the Corky Row neighborhood, including law enforcement, working to make the neighborhood feel safe. Supporting youth seemed to be the number one priority. After more than an hour of discussion, it was clear that the solution to Corky Row's issues with gun violence won't be simple. They deserve better. But necessary to figure out. After 14-year-old Miguel Sanjuro and 29-year-old Jovan Antonio Mills were shot and killed in Griffin Park Tuesday. There is no place for violence and crime on any of our streets. Mayor Paul Coogan led Monday night's community meeting promising to show support to the people who live here. We're going to put some programs in Griffin Park over the summer. We may even be using this place as an art center to try to get some kids working on projects. Sports will be a big part of outreach, according to the mayor. Bobby Bailey grew up in Fall River playing basketball. He plans on starting a basketball league in July on Thursday nights to give teens an alternative to guns. Kids don't learn uh, these behaviors at 17, 18 years old. These behaviors are, are learned behaviors from environments. Law enforcement were also on hand to listen and speak Monday. We've had 20 confirmed shootings in Fall River since the start of the year. Chief Jeff Cardoza's department will be adding more cameras around Griffin Park, increasing foot and bike patrols. He says the biggest help comes from residents calling anonymous or not. We need to have sustainability with the, the folks that live up here. Um, you know, they, they need to be involved as well. Um, and, you know, because there are eyes and ears. The same day the community gathered, 19-year-old Jeremy Holmes of Fall River appeared in court on gun charges. Prosecutors say they don't have enough evidence to charge Holmes with murder, but they were able to connect Holmes to the scene using surveillance video. The teen's attorney says he's innocent. There's no information with the police reports that I've been given by the Commonwealth so far to suggest that he is guilty of any crime whatsoever. Homes will be held without bail pending a dangerousness hearing on Thursday. The community meeting ended with several attendees agreeing to be a part of a task force organizing programs for youth. Reporting in Fall River, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.